So the Alpine trial is a head-to-head -head study comparing ibrutinib and xanabrutinib uh, in CLL. And the trial generated a little bit of tension and controversy because last year when we presented data, we showed that xanabrutinib was more effective than ibrutinib in terms of prolonged progression-free survival. Um, and you know, a similar study design with icalabrutinib didn't show any benefit. So there is a lot of talk in the last 12 months about is this a real finding? Is a finding going to be replicated with longer follow-up, or is this just a flash in the pan? So this year we presented the extra year update on the Alpine study, and we showed that with an extra year follow-up, that the progression-free survival curve between xanabrutinib and ibrutinib are staying apart, and they're staying apart especially for the 17p deletion patients. So. With more follow-up, it looks like the xanabrutinib truly is more effective than ibrutinib. Um, gives you a longer remission, and it gives you a longer remission in the most needed group of patients, those with 17 PD lesions.